what it do, Moe's and gang, yes sir, we back with another video, today we're gonna be changing the spark plugs on this 2017 F-150 XLT Super Crew Cab Eco Boost, yes sir, I know right, uh, we're gonna make this video very quick, very brief, you're gonna need six spark plugs, and uh, I'll tune into what else you also need, and uh, while we're also doing that, we'll change the oil that way. We'll have some fresh spark plugs and some fresh oil. Uh, but we're going to get right into that video. I'm going to show you all how fast and how quick it is. Remember, make nothing hard on yourself, okay, gang? Just hype. You can do anything you want to do. Every day. With God, with everything, without him, with nothing. So let's get right into this video. Let's go. What to do, Moses Gang? So we back. So guess what? I got the motor crowd spark plugs. The part number is SP594. Actually, there are six spark plugs, four come in the box, then you gotta get two extra ones. Um, also, get you a 5 8 spark plug socket remover. Yeah, excuse my hands, y'all. That's what happened when you're fixing on cars and building stuff. These, these knuckle busters. Knuckle buster stuff. Also, you need you a magnet. A metal, uh, this is a magnet catcher. That way, if your spark plug comes off of the spark plug socket, you can stick it down and it'll catch it. Also, these are pre-gapped already, but it's always good to have you a device that gaps them for you. That way, if, if one if one's off a tad, you can pretty much you can gap it yourself. Also, what you need, you need lubricant. You need lubricant and this helps with corrosion and so no spark plugs or C's, anything will be stuck off in the motor because we know if a spark plug gets stuck, it is a pain in the ass. I'm just being real. So anyways, y'all, so make sure you got this. Make sure you got your socket removal. Yes, yes. Spark plug lubricant, your magnet to catch it, your gapper in case it's not gapped, and okay. And of course, in order to turn that socket, you're going to need you a, one of these. Uh, but um, we're going to make it easy, y'all. Uh, nothing hard. I'm going gonna, gonna to get this video back on me taking the, taking the passenger side out. I'm going to go ahead and get those coil packs out. And uh, we're going to get rolling. Let's go. Okay, gang. So y'all see what's going on. I took that engine bay cover off. And what I use to take it off, it takes two bolts to get it out. I use a 10 mil, y'all see it? Here's a two 10 millimeter nuts. And of course, they go right here when you're taking it off. Um, but use your 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, gang, so as y'all see, we got three sparks on this side and we got a eight millimeter holding in the coil packs. And uh, we're gonna use a 5 8 socket, uh, a spark plug socket set to get the spark plugs out. Um, there's y'all see. And if your engine bay dirty like this, and you got an air compressor or air hose, anything like that, go ahead and blow all the dust out. Or what you can do is get an engine bay cleaner degreaser and clean and wash all that out, pressure wash it out. But we're going to get started. Not going to make it hard. Just letting you know, remember, you need an 8 mil to take the coil packs out. You need a 5 8 spark plug socket to get the sparks out. We're going to start with the passenger side, then we'll work to the driver's side. Let's go. Alright gang, y'all see I got them out. We got one, two, three. That's the back, middle, front. Okay. And now you want to take these and you want to wipe them down as best as you can. These don't look too bad. It's just dust around them. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to hook this up. Hook this socket up. And we're going to go ahead and get them spark plugs out the passenger side. And then we'll go ahead and get the new ones out and do a comparison. Let's go. See that, y'all? I'm gonna go right back where I came from. Start twisting, boom, boom, boom. It's pre gap, so I ain't gotta worry about nothing. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get this side done, y'all. And see, that's in there. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and get the other ones out, then I'm gonna go and tighten them at the end. Let's go. Big new gang, these are the three passenger sides. Hold up. Get that lighting right. These are the three passenger sides. So now we got the driver sides already backed in there. It's already in there. So now we're gonna do we're gonna do the same steps in reverse to put the coil packs back in. And then remember you gotta put your eight millimeter bolt back inside the coil packs after you do connect them. And so before you move to your driver's side or your passenger side, you want to make sure you have one side completed whole. So let's go ahead and get the coil packs back in and then move to this driver's side. Then we're going to do a drive for the baby. Let's get it. And as y'all see, if I didn't show you a closer image, one, two, and the back one is three, which the back one will go in. Simple like this. You can get around the wiring, guys. I promise you can. So we got that in, let me go ahead and kick this back in. Make sure it clicks. There we go, clip. Go ahead and put that last bolt back in. Eight millimeter in the back. There we go. All right, gang, driver side the same way. We got one, two, and three. Don't make nothing hard, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get this side done and out the way, and then y'all, we're gonna be, man, we're gonna be done, and we're gonna give it for a test drive. Let's get it, gang. All right, gang, got everything put back in. Y'all see where the two boats go right there and right there. Y'all look at the sparks, man. Get them spark plugs. We ain't crank it up yet. And don't forget, of course, put your spark plug lubricant around your spark plugs. Yeah, y'all. Look good so far, though. Got the engine back cleaned up a little bit. All right, gang, so this is the moment of truth. Got to crank this baby up, you know? Sound good. All right, test drive time. All right, gang. So I was gonna broke a little safety first. Got no check engine lights, no code lights, none of it. Backing up the driveway, y'all. Tell you most dealerships charge you a hundred dollars, hundred and twenty plus dollars, maybe a spark plug. Uh, but I know because when I had my Challenger, uh, I spent seven hundred and eighty to get the spark plug to uh, get the car tuned into the spark plug chain. Yeah, I know, right? So don't be like me. Be better than me. That's what I'm here for. Try to help people out. Get to a hundred and uh, 
pass it about 100 and 127,000, so about the next 20,000 miles I'll change them again. You sometimes want to change the spark plugs every 30,000 miles. Depends on which spark plugs you do run. If you run platinums, you probably change it out, uh, I would say, every 50,000 to 100,000 miles if you run the platinum. Some people who run platinums, I'm changing them out for a good 150 to 200,000 miles. I mean, I've seen. I've seen people literally run their cars off, run their cars 150,000 plus miles off platinum. Uh, Y'all, this thing cried on myself. It's done, this thing is rolling, no cold lights. This thing, it's no, it's no ticking or none of it. Like, you hit the gas, it goes. So y'all, thank y'all for watching, man. I feel so good, y'all feel completed. Y'all don't understand. When you save yourself thousands of dollars, you will learn to appreciate your hard work as well. Uh, and I just thank God that he gave me common sense. I thank God that uh, he made YouTube. Because <laughs> uh, that's where I learned a lot of what I learned from, from a lot of other people also. But y'all, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, and go ahead and turn that bell on, subscribe. You dig, you dig. Mosey Gang, the only way we going is say it that way. Oh God, everything without a bit nothing. Be blessed, Mosey Gang.